Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. So we have someone, obviously, this story is still going on with the five of swords coming out. Someone, there's a, there's a crazy person out here that is still trying to stop you from getting to your destination. To stop either two people from working together, coming together. This story is redundant at this point. They're not getting what it is that they want. Because the universe, the ancestors are kind of over this situation. Someone, at this point, the energy that I'm picking up on in this community is someone that is just gone. Someone is very vain. Uh, someone is very shallow. Uh, someone does not really have any type of creativity spark. Someone may have been pretending to be uh, able or have the capability of creating a utopia, uh, some type of euphoric community, but does not have the necessary skills or intelligence, sorry to say it, to even do that. So someone has been out here pretending to be something that he or she is not. Um, and this is catching up to either him or her, and it has them burdened. They could end up in some type of legal issues. Um, so this is kind of, I don't know, this is, this has me at a loss for words because this is something like just about every tarot reader is picking up on. Um, and it's just like, why is this person still persistent in when it comes to presenting an energy that is not theirs? That everybody knows you're not creative. Everybody knows you're not genuine. Everybody knows you're not a high priestess. The community you are in that you've been leading down the wrong path, they know now or by now that you know that you don't have any of the gifts or abilities that you've been pretending to have. Someone has been leeching off of other people's creativity. Um, and the reason why this person feels like they have to leech off of other people is because someone refuses to do the inner work. Someone is very just, it's just absolutely money focused, uh, materialistically uh, motiva motivated. So whatever it is that they're trying to hold on to, they know they're not going to be able to keep. So in her mind or his mind, he's saying or she's saying that they're going to go out with a bank. Um, they're afraid of you receiving some type of contract. They, they are afraid of you receiving some type of clarity. Some of you may have like a contract coming towards you, like someone may be traveling towards you to give you some type of contract, present some type of opportunity to you. And someone has been working behind the scenes for a long time to prevent you from from receiving this there are people in your energy like in your immediate energy whether this is at work at school at church that have been collaborating with this person or whoever this community to block you from being able to move on and it's just like things are not going as they planned as they intended so maybe they thought if they cause a lot of destructions in your lives then by now you will be down and out and you know it will be easy for them to keep pretending or for them to keep something that does not belong to them an opportunity but that is an absolute no from the universe someone cannot have your destiny and this is typically what it is that they're trying to do is to swipe places with you is take your destiny and you can be out here on a limbo not knowing where to what to do where to go whatever is that someone is out here in competition with other people for their destiny and the universe is telling them no they're gonna have to move on um so Anyways, I wanted to also make mention of uh, like a premonition I had. I saw. I don't know if this is relevant to anyone that watches me, but I saw a older gentleman, possibly in his mid to late fifties. I don't know if he's in like Georgia. It looks like one of those southern state, but like the countryside of the state. He was in like a white t-shirt, black man, maybe six feet tall or a little above. No, probably no more than six four. Um, but he was standing under the tree, and what I really found peculiar about the vision was that he had uh, some 
like hands attached to like a rope on his neck and like on his shoulder it was crossed like it went behind his neck over his shoulder and i was just kind of curious it reminded me of like back when i was in africa as a child when we used to play we would take like the cans the tin cans and poke holes through them, pull strings through those holes and then tie the hole with inside, within the cup so that when you pull the string, it wouldn't come out and we would put one on each end and we would pretend like we were making phone calls to each other. But this man, the, the rope that he had on him, it had a bunch of uh, strings, a, a bunch of uh, cans on there, 10 cans on there. So I don't know if it has something to do with communication. This could be someone that's very traditional, someone that's very old-minded. I don't mean like he's old, like, I mean like, you know, the way they do things. He has like a very old mindset or something like that, or has been living that way comfortably. Um, but he was wearing like a white t-shirt, t-shirt, appropriate men's shorts. Uh, it like stopped, I think above his knees or midway his knees or something like that. And I'm saying appropriate men's shorts because some of the shorts these men wear these days, they, they look like drug strings thongs or something it just is not appropriate but to each his own i'm not that, that's not my place to be saying that but you know i'm going to say what i have to say on this channel it is what it is it is what it is anyway so i don't know if that's significant to someone maybe maybe this is a hacker maybe this is someone that wants to that has something to say to you or maybe this is someone that was hired to do you something maybe they're backing off now with the fact that i'm seeing them in white because white is typically like a peaceful sign um it's kind of like someone maybe telling you you know i cause truths i don't want to cause you harm or i don't want to be part of something i don't know what it uh pertains to but uh maybe that's relevant to someone also i had a dream in a community um there's a community that's about to be or is either under investigation. Um, there will be either police officers or FBI's coming to your community to ask you all questions. They may be looking for someone, um, whether it's uh, someone to take to jail or someone they're trying to find to give an opportunity to. Maybe you all have been working to block someone from receiving an opportunity, block them from receiving a contract or whatever. Uh, I will advise you all to tell the truth when they come to ask you all these questions because one, if it's the FBI, you know those mother suckers do not come to play around. If they're asking you questions, it's just for entertainment purposes because they've more than likely been watching you all for years, all months, and they have all their ducks lined out or lined up all their T's crossed and I's dotted. So what it is they're asking you questions for is just to kind of confirm what it is. They don't need your confirmation, but they're just gonna ask you to see what it is you're going to say. So if they come and ask you all, do you know this person? Do you know where this person is? And you all know where that person is, you best tell them the truth. Because if you done, there's something these people have on you all that if you give them the answer that they are not expecting or not wanting to hear, it's going to be problems for a lot of you. So when I saw a man with his badge pulled out. He introduced himself and he asked a woman in a community, hey, I'm officer, blah, 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 blah. Do you know where this person is? And there was a man also in that community in an office trying to hide and act like he wasn't there. But it was a man, like a manager, a supervisor, someone, a business owner, whatever. He was there trying to act like he was not there. And everyone was like, hey, do you know where he is? Or tell them he's not, don't tell them he's not there because maybe it's going to backfire on all of you. When these people come to your community to ask you questions, it's best for you all to tell them the truth because there's a reason why they're coming up to that community. Okay. But that dream was so vivid. When I said I saw all the employee people sitting behind desk, it was a lot, lot of, it was, it was a lot of uh, chaos. They were asking about, I think like a feminine energy to see where she was. Um, why wasn't she there anymore? or why wasn't he there anymore, whatever it is. And people just didn't have the right answers to give because they were trying to tell lies and things like that. And then also something I picked up on in the dream is that there were a specific group of people that were not privy to something that had been happening behind the scenes for a long time. And they ended up finding out why an employee was no longer in the community. Um, and it was kind of like baffling. They, some of them kind of got pissed off or angry. Um, you may have, if you are the feminine or the masculine, you may have people from your old community, whether it was school or work, 
um, reaching out to you to see why you left a situation or why something happened, why you don't talk to people anymore, um, what, what happened, they're going to be reaching out to you to communicate with you, okay? Um, but anyways, I had that dream and I wanted to kind of just say it in case it's privy to anyone so that you are aware. Uh, there is someone out here still trying to defeat you. As I said, this is a cold-blooded narcissist. Someone has led a whole community down the wrong path. They are actually trying to have you taken out physically. Like they want you out of this realm. Um, because someone is void of human emotions, someone is long gone. Like their soul may be even like detached from them. Like someone is just out here. Basically at this point, you can consider them to be like a vegetable. Just kind of walking about the face of the earth. Someone's soul is very tired. But the human side of this person is so wicked and malicious. They don't care what it is they have to do. Who they got to do it to. To make sure that they get what it is that they want in life. And this person has been trying to defeat you. Uh, take you out. I think it started with them... Um, slandering your character, defaming you, lying on you. Someone invaded your privacy. You had a lot of people doing the same thing to you. Maybe you had people bullying you and all kinds of stuff. That didn't work. So they turned to magic and started sending a lot of negative energy towards you. Your heart, disease, and all kinds of energies you can think of. That didn't work. You're still here. So now someone has gotten really desperate to the point where they may have hired someone to come and take you out. Uh, and I mean physically take you out. And the universe is telling them, no, they're not getting their their uh, uh, their wishes Okay, whatever they're trying to manifest is a no. They're not allowed to manifest anything in your life, of course, because no one is in charge of your destiny. You are in charge of your destiny. So whatever this person is determined to do, it is not going to be taking place. This is why we have the Four of Cups here before this Ten of Swords. They're letting them know you're not getting your wish fulfillment. Okay, someone didn't do anything to you. You're the one out here stealing from people, taking from people. Uh, you're the one in the wrong. But it's like there's a karmic out here that wants to go out with a bang. This could be a king of cups. This could be a queen of pentacles in the reverse. This could be anybody. Just, <laughs> okay. Oh, dang. Oh, what I just heard when the both of them came out. There's a plot to take the both of you out. So your partner could be a king of pentacles and you could be a queen of pentacles. They are trying to take the both of you out so you two do not come together, do not meet. Because if you two come together, you are a powerhouse. Um, they don't want you two having a new beginning, balancing things out, being able to move forward. They could be a king of wands behind the scenes that's trying to figure out how he can trap you. Uh, be very cautious. This could be the man in the dream that the police were looking for or the FBI were looking for. And in my dream, I didn't just see one officer. I saw two, two people, two officers. Um, it could even be more than that because I kept hearing noises behind them. But I think there were more than more than uh, two of them. Um, but the, there's a king of wands behind the scenes that is plotting, trying to figure out how he can bind you to some type of situation so that he can be the one to come in and force you into a union, a collaboration, or something. But the, the, the ironic thing about this situation is this man is stuck in a situation that he's trying to get out of because it's very karmic. This man may, may be going through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of disappointment, may not even be doing well. Uh, there's something where he's like crying or I don't know if he's crying, but he's he's like disappointed going through a lot of emotional turmoils curlings and things like that because the truth is out something is being looked into he could be under like an investigation um absolutely by the court system because someone has violated a lot of laws possibly federal laws and maybe he didn't know he was being investigated for a long time listen here i love this the both of you the two of you that are supposed to come together our masters manifestors these are two people that will invest in whatever it is that they want until it reaps the harvest that they've all i'm telling you until it reaps the harvest they will plant their seed water nurture that seed until it becomes what it is that they want it to be so that they can have their victory right um so Anyways, to this community, this is the end of the illusions. This is the end of the lies, the deception. Things are being balanced out within a community. Maybe this is what they don't see, or maybe a community, a group of friends, maybe taking 
action to balance something out. Um, but whatever it is, whether you are balance it out or the universe takes action to balance it out, it's going to be balanced out regardless. Um, what belongs to someone else will be given to them. If someone is supposed to receive a contract, um, they're going to receive a contract, okay? There may be either some type of celebration I picked up on in a few of my readings that may not go according to plan. It's not going to be a joyous a joy, joyous, joyous, joyous. Listen, my accent, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It may not be a joyous um situation um because it's like there's too many truths that's out. People have been pretending in a community for a long time to be happy. Uh, like, you know, you know, you get into one of those communities and you just know something is up. But the employees, the, the, the long-time friends have been told to act a certain way. Make sure this person is happy and make sure you sell them the show, the picture and all of that. They've been doing that for a long time. But there's a man within a community that knows exactly what is going on. So it's like whatever celebration these people are having it doesn't have to be a wedding it could be a wedding for some of you it's not going to be a joyous one this is something where maybe he's even regretting being in a situation yeah i'm telling you he like regrets being in a situation someone may be feeling confined restricted trapped uh being get kept and things like that and maybe he's trying to figure out how he can put an end to this chapter how he can communicate with you give you an offer or something of that nature um you may already know what it is a king of swords and a king of cups have been doing behind the scenes it's a lot of characters in this situation that have been going up against the two of you trying to block you two from having some type of new beginning together it doesn't have to be in love it can just be in business because there could be a man in a community that's very good at managing people managing businesses and things like that that wants to connect with you i don't think you know this man um i think there's just someone that is aware of you but you are not aware of him and he's interested in working with you someone may may, may find you to be amused um because of your intellect um and i don't know if it has any type of romance attached to it but i know like your intellect is amused to this person he finds it very fascinating he loves your creativity and things like that he loves your mindset. Someone knows that you're humble um, and things like that. On the other hand, you could have a king of pentacles and another queen of wand, a queen of pentacles. Maybe there's a queen of wands as well. They are paying. Oh, okay, so they're the ones. They're paying for someone to take some type of reckless action to come in and either do you something very quickly, uh, block something. Maybe you have a project you are working on. Maybe you have a promotion. Maybe you have a business, a platform. They are paying someone to cause some type of ending. You're a queen of cups. Someone is very determined to destroy you. And we already know that's a no because the universe has already made a statement that that is not taking place. Um, but it is what it is. Let these people do whatever it is that they want. The universe is taking care of it. Someone is about to be silenced. Um, and they won't be able to do whatever it is they've been so comfortable doing for a long time. Because someone has felt very entitled to destroying other people's destiny because of their attachment to a specific community or a gentleman. Because maybe a gentleman usually gives this person money or maybe she works for this gentleman and he pays her fairly well. Um, so because she has that amount of finances coming in she has been misusing it to cause restrictions to other people uh paying behind the scenes to have other people's other people blocked because if you have a, a someone out here pretending to be wholesome stealing people content already presenting the content as theirs they can't afford for the real people the real high priestesses the real slim shadies uh everybody else right the real cooks the real chefs the real fashion designers to show up so they're doing whatever it is to keep you stuck, keep you binded, keep you hidden. But you're about to be celebrating real soon. So whatever it is they've been doing, it's not uh, working out. It's not the kind of return on investment that they were hoping for. You have some type of communication coming in from someone that's going to enable you to step out here on faith, maybe even have a new beginning, get away from a situation. Um, but people are very determined to defeat you and your ancestors want you to know, the universe wants you to know that it is all okay. Someone that they've been trying to block you, block from seeing you or being aware of a situation, I'm being told that they already know what is going on behind the scenes. Um, so anyways, Oh, Lord, it's a whole lot going on in the karmic community, even the light working community. I can tell you all for once, like even mine the past week, 
<laughs> uh, I've been dealing with a hacking issue for like, I don't know, a year now or something, a little over a year, whatever. Uh, the past week, someone has uh, corrupted my iPhone, shut down my computer, like they declared the hard, they wiped the hard drive clean and it did it so well that I can't even factory reset the computer. Um, so I had to go get a new phone, get a new uh, computer to be able to post. Um, but like since uh, about March, I believe, of this year or late February, someone has been trying to get me to stop posting on YouTube. Like literally, you all, you all like for me to post on here for a while since like late, I think February or March, I've literally had to, every single time I'm posting, I have to uninstall YouTube, reinstall YouTube, and be able to post because if I don't, then it takes sometimes 24 hours for a video to post, sometimes three days. And then sometimes what they'll do is that when I try to upload, the video will get to maybe 50%, 95%, and then they'll start it over. But it's someone that's hacking the system. I don't think it's YouTube. Um, but it's been a whole lot. They'll get on there and, you know, sometimes uh, delete posts and things like that. It's It's been a long journey and I don't even understand why someone is this committed because I don't know, I think I've told you all before, I don't really mess with people like that. Like I keep to myself, um, it's literally my kids and I, I like have been dated in like maybe five years or something, uh, maybe going on six years now. Uh, so I don't even know what this has to do with, but I'm sure we'll find out what it is. But it's just really, it's been a long journey, but I'm not giving up. If I can uninstall and reinstall you two, three times a day to be able to post, because on average, I post maybe two or three times a day on my channel. Um, if I'm doing that, then you best know, baby, we're getting to our destination one way or another, okay? Like, my emails have been hacked. Some of my emails I've had since, like, 2013. I don't have access to them anymore. I can't communicate through them anymore. Uh, phone numbers being hacked. So, like, when people call me, the calls are being redirected to something, some other number. Just a whole, like, my mail, everything just being hacked. My bank account, someone thinks my life belongs to them. Or we share my life equally, except we don't be paying no bills. And they're like, you know, I got, you, you, if you're this into, you know, I got bills to pay. Because how invested you are, you know, I got bills to pay. Go ahead and, you know, like, chill out, chill out. Okay, like, people, sw it, it's so crazy, you all. Like, people have been swiping my, like, just making charges on my accounts. Just craziness. Like, I, I never thought that people were this damaged in life that they will go to this extent i've never known people to be this malicious in life okay like i've gone through like 12 years of civil war and things like that but even then you know it was not this like i went through that and came out quite okay it was still like you know what i mean i went through the whole uh trauma healing and things like that but I didn't come out malicious and trying to destroy people. Um, like, I feel like people that go through stuff like that, yeah, they, it may not be justifiable, but it's a little bit more explainable when they just decide to be wicked and malicious in life. But I'm sorry, most of you in the U.S., you don't got nothing to be like this malicious about. You just feel entitled to things that don't belong to you and things and stuff like that. Uh, but I, I just, this level of maliciousness, this level of wickedness, this level of Oh, that's a flower. Uh, I'll pick it up. Um, I keep dry flowers. Um, this level of just being wicked and just malicious for I don't know what it has to do with. I mean, I mean we'll find out, but it's really sad and pathetic as had to be like that to people. Like, I, I mean, like you're out here wiping my phone, like making sure like I can't even post. Like they did it to where like my iPhone, like whether I turn it off or on, reset it, factory reset, everything is just glitching. Like, the screen is just, like, it's just, like, glitching and flickering. Like, the, the apps are just scrolling down. Like, if I click on the app, it's just scrolling down, going down, down, down. Like, it's just it's glitching at the same time. So, I can't even do anything on that. It's gotten so bad to the point where it's, like, the screen is, like, it, it looks like there's ink spilling downwards into it. Um, and then my computer, I've, I spend good money on that phone and that computer, but it is what it is. This is, this is part of the journey. I'm not going to let it get me. It's okay. It's the end of this nonsense. The universe is going to take care of it. But somebody, 
out here. Let's get back to this karmic community. Whatever it is you all have been doing out here is backfiring. There may be a king of pentacles now having some type of realization about a situation. I had to say that because uh, what, what it is that uh, I'm experiencing behind the scenes because I think sometimes when you all watch our contents, you don't understand because we all get on here and we just post every day, you know, we tell you thank you for watching and supporting, but it, sometimes it, it's not as easy as you all think. It's not supposed to be as complicated, but then there are people out here that just don't get it. Uh, they just ain't mature the right way in life and maybe they grew up in a household where they felt entitled and mom and dad maybe gave them everything they want so they got into the world feeling entitled to everything but posting on my channel has been like a full-time job in and of itself just the act of being able to post on there because baby like I've had people shut down my phone uh, I don't, like, I can't even tell you all half of the stuff these people have been doing. And I don't know, not one of these people on a personal level, don't care to know any of them on a personal level. But honey, whatever it is, the universe, if there's one thing I know, two things for short, three things for certain, <laughs> um, it's going to be exposed. Okay. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and get in, back into this read. Um, uh, whether, um, these people want to balance something out with you or not, or is on the um, or they're on the fence about it. It don't matter. It's gonna be balanced. Uh, excuse me, I lost my train of thought there for a second. But someone is very determined out here to destroy you as a queen of cups. You haven't done anything. It may be someone that's in competition with you. You may have a couple of masculines as well that are interested in working with you, but maybe you've turned them down in some way, shape, or form. Um, maybe you got like a, a whiff of their energy. You say, oh, no, that is not for me. Um, there may be a feminine energy behind the scenes that's trying to block you from being able to move on, get a contract, or something like that. That someone is very determined to destroy another person, and I just don't understand the reason why. Because typically, if you know, if an opportunity is not for you, it's just not for you. There's nothing you can do to change that. So it's best for you to just move on and do what it is that you need to do to get what belongs to you. What belongs to someone else is never going to be something that's given to you and you'll be able to keep at some point, you're going to lose it. And when you're losing it, the fall from grace is oftentimes very humiliating, uh, very catastrophic. It's very embarrassing. This is when you end up on the news for doing something to people that you should not have been doing. And then you are outcasted in a whole community or industry that you felt like you were the queen of the world or the king of the world. Um, but the universe is making a bold statement that you can never work in this community or this industry again because that is not how people want to do things, right? So there's something like that that's about to play out in someone's life. Um, whatever, I don't know why someone is this uh, uh, concerned about your about you. And I think it has to do either with your gift to manifest, your creativity. Maybe you're very beautiful, uh, very intellectual, very intelligent, quick with it, outspoken and things like that. Maybe you're everything this person does not see themselves as. Um, maybe because they haven't put in the work. There are people in the world that are just accustomed to giving, giving, giving. They like to put their hands out and just have things land in there. You're supposed to get things based on merit in life. Things are not just supposed to be handed to you. So you need to go and work for it. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying that generosity is a bad thing, but I don't think it's something you should feel entitled to. You should, you should never feel entitled to generosity, right? But there's someone out here, either in an industry, in a community, in a family, that feels entitled to things being handed to them. They feel that they don't have to work, either because of their looks or because of their complexion. That's about it, you all. That's all I'm picking up on because I've been trying to figure out what the deal is with this person. It has to do with their looks and their complexion. Uh, this came out, so I'm going to put it out. That's all it has to do with. It's not because they are, uh, you know, the most, the, the, it's not because of education. It's not because uh, of merit. It's not because of nothing, morals, ethics, principle, or anything like that. Someone just feels entitled and they know it's over for them. They're losing everything. Um, maybe people in this community, they didn't know why uh, a feminine energy was so stern and determined and persistent to destroy, block, and, you know, hinder another person. But this is why she's been so determined to is because once this woman is put out of this institution there's nothing for her she's gonna have to 
find like some way to make it someone has not been doing the work to improve themselves someone may not even have the skills that they need to be able to survive someone is about to go through like poverty in a way where when you see them you feel so sorry for them like you'll literally forget what it is they did to you uh like you'll like have this like pity like just this out of this world pity because someone is about to fall from grace and it's going to be so horrible like it's going to even it may even make you cry because someone is going from like a queen of pentacles status to a five of pentacles the five of pentacles is literally poverty like you're losing everything no money in the bank account nobody wants to talk to you you're out in the cold no institution wants to help you and what i'm hearing is this is return to sender because this is what this woman was trying to do to someone so this is why it is being done to her uh and i think someone has been being warned for a long time when it comes to how how she's doing something why she should why she's doing something if she should be doing something she was warned a long time ago to let something go okay but she refused to so someone is about to go through some type of humbling experience that they won't be able to recover from for a long time and even though there's some type of karma playing out right now in her life as you can see she's still paying for someone to take some type of action to come towards you and take you out defeat you take you out basically right Keep whatever belongs to you. Keep you in a king of cups from coming together. Right now, she's not even only after you. And I think I mentioned that, right? She's after him too. Or oh, whoever's in his past, they're after him too. So it's the both of you that are going through it, okay? There's also a king of cups that's going through karma. And I don't know who this one is, but there's someone out here going through karma. And this could be someone you have like a twin flame connection where maybe he did something in the past he shouldn't have done and he's uh maybe having some type of uh, uh epiphany some type of uh realization some type of knowledge now about what's coming uh ahead of him um maybe this is some, someone you used to date and it's just it's not looking good like he's stuck in some type of horrendous situation maybe uh headed to poverty himself with that five of pentacles coming out someone is headed in a direction that's uh, is not exactly going to be working in their favor. Yeah, someone is paying like a brute out here. Someone that's emotionally imbalanced. This is a uh, emperor that is in the reverse. That's very alarming. I hate to see emperors and empresses uh, showing up in the reverse because that is just really alarming and very sad and pathetic as heck. Uh, this is someone that is just. Uh, they overextend their authority. Someone may be abusive. Someone may be like, uh, so, you know, like those people that get, that are easily triggered. Uh, they're paying him to come and do you something. And I don't know how that's going to play out. It's not going to go in their favor. Something is about to backfire horribly. This is a queen of pentacles that's paying a king, uh, emperor in the reverse. Yeah, he's about to go through an ending. Uh, they're paying an emperor in the reverse to end something for you as well. To end either your finances, end your well, your business, end your platform, end something that you have going on. But this emperor and this queen of pentacles, they're about to go through some type of ending as well. Uh, because this is karma playing out. Uh, the ancestors want you to rest assured that you are a okay. Uh, they're watching over you. You're not going to lose something that that belongs to you. Uh, these people, however, they're about to uh, embark on some type of karmic cycle that's going to be very long, hard, very depressing. Uh, it's the end of this chapter for these people. Yeah, they want to end your abundance, your security. They don't want you being someone of high honor. They don't want you being privileged in society is what I'm hearing. Uh, they don't want you being content in life. Uh, you could be someone that's very humble with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles coming out together. You could be someone that's extremely humble in life. And maybe it bothers these people because these are people that have like a entitled mindset. These are people that you know, to live above their means and things like that, but they want to hold their noses up to other people in society and things like that. Um, so whatever this has to do with, it will be balanced out anyways. Um, but they're, they're working really hard to hold on to and keep something that belongs to you. And the universe is taking these people out one at a time in their own ways. Either they're losing their jobs, losing family members, uh, going through divorces, 
uh, something is just being dismantled from the ground up and source don't feel no ways about it two people will still be meeting and these people could be out here very pissed up behind the scenes as a king of cups that's very pissed up behind the scenes as well maybe because you don't want to reconnect with him or maybe because you're receiving a contract there's a king of swords that's about to find out that he's been loyal to the wrong person he may have given some type of friendship or offer to a queen of cups reverse and he's about to find out why he should have never done that. I think I warned this person before. Yeah, I warned him before. He uh, gave his loyalty to the wrong person before. And I think I warned this man in quite a few readings ago. Maybe seven or eight readings. I'm not sure. Um, but I told him that if he followed this woman wherever she was going, it was going to uh, like be... He was going to regret it and he's about to find out why. Because this man has trapped himself in some type of situation with this woman um, that... He's about to regret because someone is about to lose everything. Everything, everything. Okay? Dang. Dang. So you are showing up as a queen of cups, not of pentacles and high priestess energy. And they're trying to... There's something with your intuition. But the universe is making a bold statement with this four of cups. They're trying to keep your inst intuition on lock. Like they want to block your creativity. They want to block your downloads. But the universe is saying, no, you cannot keep what belongs to them. You cannot keep, you cannot control, you cannot stop their intuition, their downloads. You can't trap their, their, their skills, their abilities. You can't do nothing like that. Their, their psychic energy, you're not entitled to keeping any of that. So they're already telling this person no, and it has them stuck in their mind, confused. Your, your strength may even bother this person. You being an ascendant master and you choosing to listen to your intuition about some type of communication that may be coming in towards you. Um, it has someone bother. It's like they've never met anyone like you. It's that one, one person... Excuse me. On one hand, someone is like, the, your enemies are smitten by you, but then they are bothered by you as well. Because they've been able to possibly destroy other people before, but there's something about you that these people are just captivated by. It's like, oh, I want to take him out. I want to take her out. But, oh my gosh, like we're going to be, we're not going to uh, have access to this anymore. We're not be, going to be able to hear them or see them anymore. This person is very gifted. Or uh, There's something like where it's that like your enemies, they, they love to hate you, but hate to love you at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know how to verbalize that, but there is some type of obsession here going on between you and your enemies. You're not obsessed with them. They are obsessed with you. And there's a community finding out as well that the person that's been trying to take you out of feminine energy possibly is obsessed with you as well. All of these people are going to have to move on. Everybody's going to be sailing on. Now, I don't know if they're going to be sailing on the karma water because the police is coming into a specific community to ask some questions. There's a Sagittarius that may be under some type of investigation that maybe he didn't know that he was under investigation. Maybe you're on under investigation they are looking for you they're out here like i'm looking for my friend you and their friend though but that's how they're saying it i'm looking for my friend this is going to be you trying to sneak and get away and you know they is going to pounce on that behind and say bring that ass <laughs> your boy I don't know where you're about to go but don't don't go running you are stuck stuck you know how you are trying to keep someone stuck you are possibly trying to keep a feminine energy stuck or a masculine it could be you're about to be stuck, stuck in some type of situation. Like, and I mean stuck with the family you are working with. Okay? You all got answers. So FBI, the police, they got questions. You all better have answers. Because there's an investigation either going on now or it's, a, or it's about to be going on. I think the investigation has been going on. Now it's time for, the, for them to make some type of move. And this is by them showing up to either a community, a school, a church, or whatever, or to your house or something. But what I saw was a work area in my dream. Employees working and the police showing up, pulled that, those badges out, and introduced themselves, and they asked for so-so and so, and you all better tell them where so-so and so is. Because if you're done, you got problems. You got problems. Some of you are in your 50s, your 60s, possibly 70s. Maybe going to the penitentiary is not something you should be wanting for yourself at that age. And I'm telling you the truth because a sister cares about people out here. So when those people come, you better tell them the truth. This could be a situation where the FBI or the police may know that something has been going on for a long time. And they're just hoping that some of you will tell them the truth and work things 
out with them and they would just kind of, you know, overlook some certain things because certain things people did were not that bad. So it's not really worth them going to jail for. But if you start lying to them, oh, <laughs> it's those chains, baby, they're going to hit you all with that <sighs> real quick. You see that right there? You won't be able to recover from it. I'm telling you, you will be trapped, trapped. Okay, and this is by all means of someone's ancestors having you under. This is a king of wands, baby. You're under judgment. It's somebody's ancestors that are handling you. I told you something, you were going through some type of karma, and I told you that was just the tip of the iceberg, right? Not the police. They go to oh, who, sir? The police are oh. I just looked through my deck, you all. The police, baby, they're coming. <clears throat> to what? They've made a decision to come and balance something out, sir. Look, 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 look. Who's this? This is a Sagittarius, baby, that you you are worried, right? You're worried. You see that? The police coming to get you, sir. I don't know where you're going to go. Oh, <laughs> and he's worried about his people snitching on him. You are under investigation, sir. You are being looked into. There are things that you've been doing out here, choices you've made out here when it comes to other people, right? You and a Queen of Wands possibly have been working together or a Queen of Cups, baby. The both of you are trapped. Oh, you are trapped. Them ancestors are hot. You, you're back together. I'm telling you, these ancestors ain't playing with you. You are under judgment. They are hovering over you. They said, anywhere you go, we will follow. We ain't gonna lose no sight of you. Okay? You are their muse at this point. Maybe they sit above high, just what? <laughs> they sit above just watching you in every way possible. They got you on lockdown. Anywhere you go, they're gonna let the police know where you are. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is going on? What is going on here? Baby, you tell you it's going to get away with something. No. You're out here being malicious, cruel, and committing crimes, getting other people involved, and the other people want to hide their hands. Listen, you still burden, right? You burden about this police officer or whoever this king of swords is coming in to tell the truth, bring clarity, and it's going to put an end to your... Oh, baby. Oh, I feel for you. I feel for you. But you know what? How how else are you going to learn? How else are you going to learn? You are under investigation, sir. I don't even want to put mine in there. Cause, mm -mm. But when you see the FBI, uh, sir, sir, I, I had nothing to do with it. I was minding my business, learning my ABCs and stuff, my one, two, threes back in preschool and stuff like that preschool energy sir i don't know nothing my name is missing and i'm not in it okay okay i'm hearing something about uh, a group of people trying to manifest some type of horrendous reality for someone so if you're someone that like you don't want to go to jail or prison they were trying to get something set up where you would end up locked up or something like that like these people are wicked people are wicked chai People are wicked just so you wouldn't get either some type of uh, inheritance, some type of financial payout, a contract, a masculine said he be darned if you end up with somebody else. He said, you don't like my kind, I'll show you then you can't be with nobody, but it's not going his way. The universe is all over it. You are free to be you. And this man is pissed up. Someone, someone thinks they're God. And the real God is stepping in to tell them, <laughs> you got me fooled up in one and too many ways. I'm the one that created everything you see. Not you. Okay? Not you. But Mr. Sagittarius, sir, you are under investigation. And they got some information. And you know if the FBI is looking in on you? <laughs> <laughs> they got everything they need. So you can be in there. I'm telling you, they know everything about you and the group. Okay, you and the group, they got everything, everything you've been plotting, all the, baby, everything is out. The truth is out about all the lies, everything you were doing. There's an investigator out here, baby, 
there's some type of narrative you all were trying to sell man that man or woman is laughing at you all see i don't know if you all try to set someone up to get them locked up so though it got to a point where i think the fbi got involved and they decided to look into something and they found the truth out whoever the fbi agent is or the cop is they're laughing at you all it's an investigator they're laughing and when they go to show whoever you all were having investigated, they're probably going to laugh at that situation too when they tell them, oh, they said you were selling SEX online. I said, well, me? Yeah. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> they said, yeah. They said you do drugs. You do this. You're the head of a, a coven and blah, 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 blah. You're the head of a coven. <laughs> yeah. Be that who little of me the head of a COVID? Where? Where? Not I, sir. Not I. <laughs> you know what? I've, on my bucket list, I've always wanted to talk to an FBI agent. I don't know why. Like I just find them to be really like sophisticated the way they move. Maybe it's the movies that has me effed up. But like I've always just wanted to sit and have a conversation with one of them, one of them, and just be like, "What is your job like?" Like. What do you all do? Like, we all see you all. Like, we barely see you. But, you know, when we see you, you just look a little bit too serious for us. Like, calm down a little bit. What do you do? Like, how is it like being you? I don't want to be you because your job is just a little bit too much stressful, it sounds like. But what is it like being you in your field? You know, it, just pick your brains or something. But that's on my bucket list. To talk to an FBI agent, you all. I don't know if that's weird, but you know what? I hope that, that bucket list... That checklist comes one day, and hopefully you're not coming to get me, <laughs> sir, ma'am. No. I just want to talk to you to see what it's like being you, okay? Because I find you all job to be very fascinating. Um, very fascinating. Anyways. <laughs> the Sagittarius about to find out. <laughs> you're about to find out. Because you're trapped in some type of situation. You cannot get out of. Dang. You about to be trapped up. They're going to go ask questions. Anyways. Who, whoever you are, darling. You, the uh, the hype, the real high priestess, the real slim shady. <laughs> Maybe you, your commitment to your path is about to get your wish fulfillment. You are coming out of the cold out of poverty some of you maybe you've been living in poverty because people have been trying to restrict you limit your choices and options and things like that not wanting you to be abundant in life but you are about to have wish fulfillment you're going to be content people are pissed off about this so this is why they're paying a brute to come in and make sure you don't get wish fulfillment but you'll have it this man may have issues coming in as well this brute like i don't know if this is like a killer a serial killer Whoever this is, or this is just someone that's greedy, very greedy. Whoever this man is, baby, you're about to be, your secrets are about to be exposed. Everybody's secrets are about to be exposed. Um, it's the end. Like, they want, they want to take you out. These people may be watching you in some way, shape, or form. Maybe spiritual surveillance. Maybe they have, I don't want to scare anyone. Maybe they have cameras and stuff in your homes and stuff like that. But maybe whatever these people are doing is about to backfire. It's like the end. Wherever they're working on the plans, the plots, it's about to fail horribly. They're about to end up in some type of legal issues. And the court case that they end up in is not going to go in their favor. Like there's an institution that's about to be shut down either after a lawsuit because whatever they end up paying during the lawsuit is going to shut them down because somebody's going to say mm -mm, i need all my money in one check yeah, yeah, yeah they're heartbroken because you standing your ground baby is putting an end it's making these people look like fools out here because you keep going they were they are depressed that you are still standing your ground and you standing your ground is it is Bringing an end to these people. It's showing that they're liars. They may have set something up to look a certain way. And it's not. The whole family, the couple, the group, community, whatever they want to call themselves. Maybe it's not pretty. It's an end. It's a failure. I don't know why these people invested in this situation. It's really 
depressing to see people throw their futures away like this. Just everything. There's definitely a court case coming out of a situation. Their sister or brother is going to say, nah, I need my money in one check. One check. I don't need no installments. Nothing. Okay? Yeah, you about to be out here having options in love. Uh, I, I know this... This emperor in reverse does not have emotions for... I, you better not. I know he is not out here wanting to be with you too. Maybe he wants to have like a one night stand or something. Maybe he told someone that... B -b -b Sir, you got legal issues coming in too. Okay? You got issues coming in. You and the queen of pentacles that hired you. Okay? You both got issues. I know you are not out here catching feelings for the person you were sent to on a live. All stuck in his mind, feeling way down and burning, trying to figure out that I really want to take out that star seed. I don't think I want to take out that star seed. I can probably be friends with them, find the truth out, maybe give them some type of proposal or something like that. Uh, sir, 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 it's best for you to kind of, if they give you money to take someone out, take that money and go. Take that money and go somewhere else. Move on with your life. What is she going to say? What is he going to say? I paid you to take someone out and you didn't do it. I'm going to cut the police on you. <laughs> you got the power in this situation, so you got the upper hand, okay? There could be also a brute that's in the force. Uh, someone is about to be exposed for being, uh, being crooked. Yeah, someone is about to be exposed for being crooked. Like, there's a whole institution under judgment. Whoever this uh, who, whole institution falling from grace, losing everything, all the money because this is why you all did it. You just care about money. That's all you. I see a lot of pentacles out here. This has something to do with some type of money contract agreement. Something you're about to lose it all. Losing it all. Dang. They're trying to stop someone from moving forward. They said they don't want you to have victory. Nothing. But you're still content. And, and that's the thing that's pissing these people off. Your contentment. They say you should not be discontent in life. We've destroyed everything. How are you still wholesome? How are you still nurturing your seeds that you planted? You should be depressed. You should be living in fear. Feeling rejected and isolated. Keeping away from people. Nah, this is you out here all hopeful. Looking out to the horizon and saying, oh, What's next? Having yourself a fresh beginning. And these people, when I think they're planning on destroying someone's stability. And everything is going to be taken from them. It's that what you take from someone is what you lose. And some of you, you stand to lose a lot. Businesses, your, 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 your foundations, your homes, jobs, family members, pets, everything. You're going to lose more than this person that you're coming after. Because everything is being taken from you all. Everything. Everything. While wow, one... one Queen of Pentacles is stepping into poverty. The other one is stepping into abundance. You are going to have abundance. Light worker, divine being. You will. I'm just observing to make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah. There's a King of Cups now that has to do some introspection, sir. We don't know what it is you've been up to here. Maybe you betrayed someone or you've been trying to force something to go your way. Uh, maybe you're going through karma for working really hard to deter someone off of their path. And now you're stuck in some type of situation, going through some type of financial like and stuff. Yeah, go go within and do some introspection. Take a different path. Heal yourself because you need it like the rest of us. Except the rest of us are putting in efforts to heal. You're not. You're out here trying to destroy it. Like, it's people out here trying to stop you from working keep you from moving forward control your life control your work control your investments control your efforts your loyalty your like just what is it your discipline they don't want you being disciplined they want you to just be like lazy just lazy they don't want you to be your perfectionist the perfectionist that you are they don't want you growing 
They don't want you developing yourself. Nothing. Just not doing nothing with your life. Because that's what these kind of people are. Lazy, doing nothing with their lives. If they're in companies, they don't do the work. They just get paid to, to show up. It ain't even like they got good faces to look at. They just show up and get the money. Come on now. Come on. If you're going to be lazy, at least be good looking. Come on. Okay, come on. They said they're pissed off at your intuition. Really? Really, Sally? Really? What are we going to do with you? What, what, what do you want us to do with that? That's the universe. The universe gave it and take it, but the universe decided to pour into us because we pour into ourselves and other people and the communities around us, the environment around us. It has something to do with someone not being healed. You're not nurturing. They don't know how to pour into other people because someone is very pretentious, very void. Someone is not healed. I don't know who she's been faking the funk for forever. Girl, you got to stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You can't, you, you, you can't, you, you cannot have this kind of mindset and really think you're going to thrive in life. This is like, this is like you planning your own ending. Basically. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.